Hello everyone, it's Kay. How's it going? Hoping having a, uh, having a great day today. So, welcome to my other live stream. Today it's the uh, 27th of August uh, 2020 on Thursday. So, uh, today's topic is about Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. And I will talk about the Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen and the essence of it. And we're gonna look at a couple of pairs and commodities or uh, stock market. And I will show you exactly how you can uh, analyze the market based on Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. So, here's a weekly program guide, and every day I do the live stream, and every day it's got different topics. So, today's on, today's on a Thursday. So, on every Thursday, I talk about Ichimoku basic lecture. So, every Tuesday, Thursday, I talk about Ichimoku. Every Wednesday, Friday, I talk about my own strategy. And every Saturday, I talk about psychology money management related topics because usually um, you know um, it's important to look back on your on your own psychology or money management strategy so that's on Saturdays and on Sundays I talk about weekly Ichimoku Forex forecast and on every Mondays I talk about um, my own strategy by running the Forex test of 4 which is my favorite tool so um, yeah for those who are new to my channel uh, my name is Kei and I am a Japanese full-time Forex trader uh, based in Tokyo, Japan. In this YouTube channel, I mainly talk about how not to lose over time so that um, you can uh, secure your account balance to keep growing uh, the profit ultimately in, in the end. And also, I have been using Ichimoku Kin Kohyo for the last five years as one of my uh, main trade strategies and I have been sharing extensive knowledge through the original books in this YouTube also. So, um, and um, yeah, as far as I know, um, I am the only Japanese trader who teaches Ichimoku Kinko Hyo from the original books in English. So hopefully you enjoy my Ichimoku lectures too. I run a closed Ichimoku community also. So if you're interested, uh, you can click on the join button on YouTube and you are always welcome to my community here. Alright, so let's see who's here first. Alright, good to see everyone. Josie, Sunday, and Massive, Golam, and uh, Checkmate, Arkari, and Orania, Honda, Ciro, and uh, Nguy. Thank you for joining. Tauhid, Danish, and Don, Kayon, good to see you. Marusan, thank you for joining. Marusan became a uh, moderator uh, recently, so thank you for joining and thank you for your support. And Kalaf, thank you for joining live. Tanapo, uh, Mehdi, and uh, Danish, and uh, Frank, Sandro, Onkar, Melanie, thank you for joining. Scourge, Hendra, and everybody else, thank you for joining today. Alright, so let's get to the topic now. And before moving on, um, just a disclaimer, all these contents are basically based on my own experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do uh, with your risk. So, um, today's topic is about uh, Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. Alright, so here is, um, let me show the Euro USD for example. So here is Euro USD daily chart and in my chart setting, the green line, this one is a Kijun Sen and the blue line is a Tenkan Sen. So here is my simple question. Uh, what is Tenkan Sen and what is Kijun Sen? Let me um, just ask you this simple question. And yeah, don't worry, there is no right or wrong answer. This is just free discussion. So um, yeah, when, you, when you're when you in, in front of the PC or when you're on the mobile, uh, please, uh, please Type your comment here in the chat box so that I can see your comments here. So what is Kijun Sen and what is Tenkan Sen is the first simple question. So green one is a Kijun Sen and the blue one is a Tenkan Sen. And what do they show? What do they show? For those who, who are actually in my community, in my Ichimoku community, You've read my book and you know the essence of Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. But, you know, uh, this is open to anyone. 
this is public life, so uh, I'm just waiting for anybody's comments here. And after this public life, there will be a Ichimoku membership life. So um, this one is going to be for the last, uh, for the next 30 or 40 minutes long. All right, I start to see a couple of answers now. All right, uh, moving averages, Tenkan Sen nine period average high and low, and Kijun Sen six uh, twenty six period. All right, Tenkan Sen average nine period, Kijun Sen average twenty six period. All right, Tenkan Sen nine, Kijun Sen twenty six. Tenkan Sen is the highest and lowest price of the past nine day divided by two. Right, nine and twenty six period Hane lines. Yep. Hundred lines is a keyword. Yeah, mid price. Mid price of the highest and lowest of the nine and twenty-six period. All right, tenkan sen mid price nine days. Tenkan sen shows short term trend. Kijun sen shows mid term trend. Yeah, that's a that's a good point too. Short term is the tenkan sen. Long term is the kijun sen. Right, right. Okay. Hi Jojo. Thank you for joining. To see you and Sean, thank you for joining as well. Tenkan Sen night period of previous uh, highs and lows. Kijun Sen twenty six period previous highs and lows. Right, right. Okay. So yeah, looks like you all know about the calculation, right? So Kijun Sen, you're right, you're right. So Kijun Sen is actually, you know, uh, showing the uh, the highest and lowest for the last. 26 candles and divided by 2. And Tenkan Sen shows the uh, mid price of the last 9 candles. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, um, and what, what do they show then? Right? So, we know that these are like 26 Kijun Sen mid price for 26 candles, and Tenkan Sen is 9, nine candles in the past mid price. And what do they show then? <laughs> All right. Sensei is like a real life teacher. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yep, yep. This is a life. So, yeah. Instead of me talking all the time, sometimes I want to see your comments too. Because it's more exciting. Edgar, thank you for joining. More power, <laughs> all right. Asian teacher style. Oh yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, and this is my style, actually. Yeah, because when you engage, right? When you start to engage by answering to these questions, then you remember. Yeah, output is the best way to input yourself, and that's why I encourage anybody to, you know, uh, to engage in this um, communication. Yeah, yeah. So that's true. Short uh, shows short to mid-term price movement. Yep, that's a good answer. Trend over the nine and twenty-six periods. Right. Okay. Yeah, it shows a trend too. Trend direction in uh, short to mid-term too. Short-term trend and mid-term trend. Right. Okay. So I think we're getting to the point now. So first of all, um, let's talk about the Kijun Sen. So Kijun Sen is a green line in my chart setting. So here is a Euro USD daily chart, and um, so uh, we know that Kijun Sen is pointing upwards now. Okay, so Kijun Sen is pointing upwards now, and that means this is uptrending. I mean, uh, the direction of the midterm is uptrending, is up. Midterm is up. Okay. In terms of direction, so and in terms of direction of this tenkan sen, this is flat, right? Tenkan sen, short term market momentum is flat, so that means that um, in the short term, it's ranging. There is no direction in the short term. That's what it means. All right, so. Let's just focus on the trend first, and then we talk about the momentum. And I talk about the momentum. So first, let me focus on the trend. Okay, the trend, trend direction. So, Tenkan Sen shows the short term, 
market trend direction and Kijun Sen shows the midterm market direction by these angles, by their angles. So right now we see that Kijun Sen is moving up and that means in the midterm it's uptrend. But in the short term, Tenkan Sen is flat. So that means in short term, there is no trade, uh, no, no trend in the market. Does that make sense? So um, let's uh, take a look at other pair. So Euro GBP, and this is another daily chart, Euro GBP, and we can see that um, Kijun Sen is flat, and Tenkan Sen is flat too. See? So let me just take out this Kumo. I think it might be kind of difficult to see with this Kumo and Kijun Sen. So let me just take them out. Hold on. So, right, lagging span lead. I just delete all these. Okay, so here we go. I think this is much, much better. So now we can see that Kijun Sen is flat and Tenkan Sen is flat. So that means in the midterm, it's ranging. In the short term, it's ranging too. Right? So at a glance, you know which direction the market is moving by looking at Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. Simple. Simple. Okay, so um, let's take a look at other pair. Euro JPY. How about Euro JPY? It's kind of overlapping. So uh, let me pick up other one. GBP USD. All right, so GBP USD. If I can zoom in a little bit. GBP USD daily chart. Kijun Sen is moving up. Right, so that means in the midterm, this is uptrend. And in the short term, it's becoming flat now. So in the short term, this is flat. Or oh, I think this is slightly moving up, maybe. It's kind of slightly moving up. So in the short term, this is uptrend too. That's what it shows. Okay? So, um, and the next one, GBP, JPY. Um, Kijun Sen flat, Tenkan Sen flat. So both are flat, and that means in the short to midterm, this is ranging. Better to stay away from the market. It might be resisted at the highest level, 140.20 area. It might be resisted in this area and it goes backwards in this situation. Because in the short to midterm, it's flat. There is no direction in the market. So there's a good chance that the price it's going to be resisted at the recent high. Right, um, if if um, the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen are both up, and especially when Tenkan Sen is above the Kijun Sen, when they're both moving up, then there's a good chance that the price breaks the recent high upwards this way in Ichimoku theory. But now, as you can see, these are both flat, so I don't want to buy here because there might be a resistance in this area. All right, so let's take a look at other pair. Yeah, USDJPY. Uh, by just by looking at the angles, um, Tenkan Sen is moving down, Kijun Sen is moving down too now. So in the short to mid term, this is downtrend. The direction is downward. So there's a good chance that the price continue to go down this way. So hopefully, um, so my, my, uh, my goal on this YouTube channel is to be able for you to, um, you know, to, to see the market by using Ichimoku and identify what is going to happen in the market at a glance as the name Ichimoku suggests. And this is one way to uh, to identify whether the market is uptrend, downtrend, or range uh, in the short to mid term. All right. So let's pick up other pair just randomly. Maybe gold would be interesting. <coughs> yeah, on gold right now, the Kijun Sen is moving up. The green one, Kijun Sen is moving up, and 
Tenkan-sen is horizontal. Right, so that means in the short term it's ranging, but in the mid term it's uptrending. So there's a good chance that the price continue to go up this way. Because in the mid term, this is still uptrending. Alright. To see the market in one second. Yep, exactly. So once you get familiar to look at the market this way, then um, you know, eventually by looking at the Ichimoku Kinko here with the five lines, you can identify which way the price is going or whether this is buy bias or sell bias in the market in a short, mid to long term. So um, let's pick up the oil, WTI, and you can see that both are flat now. Um, Tenkan Sen flat, Kijun Sen flat. So this means that the direction, the market direction is flat ranging, both the short term and mid term. So there's a chance that the price goes downwards this way. It might retrace backwards a little bit. Alright, so... Hi Gabriel, thank you for joining. Good to see you. So uh, yeah, let's um, pick up some uh, um, indices. S&P 500, both are moving up beautifully. So this is uptrending in the mid to short term. The direction is uptrend. So, it's a buy chance. We can look for buy chance here. Alright. And how about Dow Jones? It's flat. Kijun Sen flat, Tenkan Sen flat on Dow Jones daily chart. So, there's a chance that the price goes downwards. Or, even if the price goes upwards, it might be resisted at the highest high and it goes backwards too. Because they are both horizontal. All right. So this is one thing that's important that you can capture the direction of the trend in the short to mid term by taking Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. So let's take a look at the Nifty. Right, Nifty daily chart are both moving up. Tenkan Sen up, Kijun Sen up too. So by Ichimoku Nifty is uptrending in the short to mid term. So I would look for the buy chance. Looks like this is breaking the recent high uppers too, and continuing to moving up this way. So, it's a, it's a nice uptrend. But when they're both moving flat like here, there was a good chance that the price goes downwards here. And continue to go down. But exactly on this candle, or exactly on this day of uh, 17th of August, Tenkan Sen started to move up while Kijun Sen was still flat. And on the next day, on the 18th of August, both became uptrend. Right? Both became uptrend exactly on this bullish candle on the 18th of August. So from here, we can look for buy chance. Mostly, most likely, when they're both moving up, there, will, there is a breakout, potential breakout to the upwards this way. All right. So um, let's take a look at other one, Hansen. Uh, daily chart shows that the um, Tenkan Sen is flat, and Kijun Sen is down. All right. So uh, yeah, don't don't just focus on the cross now. Just focus on the direction of these lines now. Yeah. So now Tenkan Sen flat. And Kijun Sen moving down. So, in the midterm, it's going down this way. It might consolidate for a couple more days because, in the short term, it's horizontal. But in the long term, this is a bearish move. I mean, sorry, in the, in the, in the midterm, in the midterm, this is bearish. Right. Okay, I see some comments here. Sunday, uh, Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen are showing real-time up update 
What is a uh, not lagging indicator? Was it not lagging indicator? Yeah, um, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, or um, you know, any, any lines in Ichimoku are actually lagging indicator. Yeah, but it actually, because it's lagging, it actually, you know, capture the stable, I mean, uh, you know, significant uh, d trend direction. Yeah, lagging is not always a bad thing. Sometimes they, they give us, uh, you know, the, the right, right direction of the market because it's lagging. All right, Keiya. Mr. K, how to understand Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen fake um, signal, dead cross and gold cross? So um, that's due to N wave. You have to look at the wave and the crosses. And you can avoid the fakes. I will talk about that topic uh, sometime later. Yeah, today let's just talk about, uh, let's just focus on the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen angle and where the price, where the current price is located. Yep. The postman, good morning, K. With the Kijun Sen direction, do you look at the tip of the Kijun Sen or overview trend of the Kijun Sen? I look at the tip of the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen to capture the direction. Yeah. Unlike moving average, uh, Ichimoku lines sometimes go completely flat. Like here. Sometimes it goes, goes completely flat because it takes the highest price and lowest price for the last 26 days or last um, 9 days on Tenkan Sen. And that's why if there is no renewal of the recent high or if there is no renewal of the recent low or vice versa, um, you know, there, there is the lines you know remain flat unlike moving average so i look at the tip of the lines to capture the direction of the market how to apply wave in ichimoku can you make a quick analysis wave is pretty simple like uh, when there is a you know higher lows and higher highs this is uptrend and that's wave like you can connect the dots and you can create these waves like this. When it's hundred percent, when it's hundred percent retracement like this, this was this is V wave. All right, Nifty is moving. Uh, Nifty moving is a scattered manner. Yeah, it's going up and down right now. Quite volatile. All right, um, Logan, can we take weekly Tenkan Kijun as a resistance? Um, yeah, yeah, it works. Sometimes it works as a resistance or support of uh, the Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen. Especially when it's on a trend, it tends to work as a resistance or support. All right. Hi, good to see you. Thank you for joining. That forecast line on gold is acting as a resistance worked great. Oh sure, yeah, the resistance lines, I mean the forecast lines has been working on the resistance here on gold. So now we can expect that the price resisted by the by this uh, forecast line and it may continue to go down this way. Yeah, that's true. All right. If Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen moving up or down stuck to each other or very very close and there is no kumo yet is it a very strong move indication um i don't think so in that case i think that's like a range market when they're kind of overlapping horizontally but um yeah when they're moving up when they're both moving up uh, with some overlap of tenkan sen kijun sen then that shows that, that that's a strong bullish or bearish market. Yeah. But when they're completely, you know, overlapping horizontally, that's the complete range in the short to mid term. In direction wise, right? In direction wise. Gabriel, Tesla, please, K. The gold cross you talk about on your analysis took place yesterday. Oh, yeah, I saw that, Tesla. Yeah, so since we talk about Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, let's, talk, let's take a look at the Tesla. I was looking at this chart earlier, 
and yeah, there is a Tenkan Kijun Gold Cross, and the price is going upwards now. Yeah. So, I, I made a time cycle on the Tesla. This is a daily Tesla right now. It's spiking up now, renewing, continuously renewing the high. And I see a, you know, uh, these, uh, these lows are on time cycles. And there is a little gap here in between, and counting from this low to this one is another Kihon Suchi 33. So I expect the price will mark the next low on this day of the 25th of September. 33 days, 33, 33 trading days after the previous low on the 11th of August. So I expect the market is going to go like this and continue to go up this way. But anyways, yeah, yeah, there is a Tenkan Kijun Gold Cross right here. So yeah, after that, this is going up now. And right now, if you if you take a look at it closely, Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen are both moving up. So this is a strong uptrend. I mean, in the midterm it's up, and um, in in the short term it's up too. And there were some overlap of Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen while they're both moving up. So that was a strong uptrend indication. So yeah, I think this is a great great example for the overlap, both pointing upwards. If you see this, then yeah, there is a potential continuous uptrend to this way. Yep. Alright, uh, we will also be glancing over range trading using the Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen. Uh, yep, yep, I do. When it's ranging, the Kijun Sen shows the mid price of the range. Well, Tenkan Sen does not really show the mid price, but Kijun Sen will. So, um, yeah, I will more focus on Kijun Sen than Tenkan Sen while the market is consolidation, consolidating. All right, so um, yeah, let's. Uh, so this is one thing, right? This is just one thing, and let me add one more information, one more important information. Or uh, when you look at the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen here, and that's the current price level. Okay, that's the current price level. So what that means is, okay, so now you know that direction is important of Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen. Okay, okay, so you know. If you, you look at the direction of these lines and you know which way uh, you know the market is moving in the short to midterm but uh, is it is it um, you know buy bias or sell bias market is a question and in that you know simply by looking at the current price location so now in Tesla daily chart on this chart on this chart the current price is way above the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen right way above Tenkan Kijun here, so that means that this is buy biased, the market equilibrium is buy, simply because the price is located above the Tenkan Sen, above the Kijun Sen. So this is buy biased in a short to mid term also. And in addition to that, these are both moving up. So in conclusion, I expect the price continue to go up this way. All right. Um, but however, however, if the price starts to go down and breaks the Tenkan Sen downwards, what happens is that uh, Tenkan Sen may become flat. So you may see that uh, the short-term market direction is ranging, and by the fact that the price breaks this Tenkan Sen below means that now, in the short term, it became sell biased. Right, there is no more uh, buy equilibrium, but the equilibrium is becoming sell towards sell sell uh, direction, like a south direction, in a short term. But if the price is still above the Kijun Sen, that means that the price is still, in the, I mean, the market, the market is still buy biased in the mid term. So if uh, if the Kijun Sen is still moving up this way. So that means, right, that means that if the Kijun Sen still move up this way, 
then there's a good chance that the price will be supported by the Kijun Sen and continue to go up this way. But when Kijun Sen is flat, Kijun, when, sorry. <laughs> when Kijun Sen goes flat like this, then uh, you know uh, the price might break the Kijun Sen downwards here. Because um, um, at, at this point right now, at this point, um, the market is no trend in the midterm either. So the price can break through the Kijun Sen downwards. Okay, so that's that's a basic theory here. So we have two different things now. Uh, there, the market direction is important, and also the equilibrium is important in Ichimoku. So um, let's talk about the equilibrium now. Going over the same pairs Euro USD. So right now, what you see is that the uh, okay once again, Kijun Sen moving up. So in the midterm. The market is uptrending and Tenkan Sen is horizontal. So in the short term, this is ranging. And current price location is in between Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. So that means that um, you know this is uh, in the short term, the equilibrium is sell, but in the mid term, the equilibrium is to buy. So there is a, there is a fight between um, uh, short term short term and mid term here but because the Kijun Sen is still moving up there is just a good chance that the price continue to go up this way especially when the price touches on this Kijun Sen there is a good chance that the price will be bounced off of this Kijun Sen and continue to go up this way it may break a little bit but eventually you know there is a good chance that the price continue to go up this way as long as Kijun Sen is moving up So this is how you identify whether the line will will be reliable uh, for the support of resistance or not. You know, simply by looking at the angle. When, when they are on the angle, then it tends to work better as a support resistance. But if they are flat, it tends to the market tends to break through because of this reason. So let's take a look at other pair. Uh, Euro GBP. Right now, the price is going down, so this is sell bias in a short to mid term, simply because the current price level is below Tenkan Sen, below Kijun Sen, so this is sell biased. Okay, so but it doesn't mean sorry, it doesn't mean that the price will go down. The market is sell biased, but it doesn't mean that the price continue to go down. Why? Because Tenkan Sen flat and Kijun Sen flat. You see, I hope that makes sense to to everyone. It's kind of complicated. Um, so um, yeah, direction of the Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen is important, and where the current price is located is also important to investigate the equilibrium of the market in the short to mid term. Okay, so let me just come back to some comments now. All right, GPP USD cross forecast line daily chart. All right, how to identify range with Ichimoku by simply by looking at the direction of of uh, of uh, of that of these uh, honey lines. Still hold AUD USD buy? Yes, I do. I do. First time see a smile, smiling trader, <laughs> really? Okay, not really. Uh, you know, not not so many traders smile. Yeah, for me, I don't really look at other YouTubers because I don't want to get biased. So, yeah, I just do, just do. I uh, you know do this by my by my own style. <laughs> uh, my favorite background music. Okay, okay, that's great, Prog. Hopefully it's it's not too loud. Yeah, <laughs> couple of days it was too loud the BGM, so I lower the volume. So hopefully it works okay. In an uptrend, if the price drop below um, Tenkan Sen, does it indicate the start of a downtrend? 
If the price drops below Tenkan Sen, uh, no, it's not necessary. If the price breaks the Kijun Sen, and after Kijun Sen goes downwards, maybe. Alright, checkmate. Uh, Mr. K, would you use Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen crosses on lower time frames too? Or just daily chart? Thank you. I use it in lower time frames too. Yeah. Okay, Onkara, uh, please check Nifty 50 uh, chart. Uh, what are the position on Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen? Oh, yeah. So let's take a look at the Nifty as the next example. So Nifty right now, uh, sorry, this is Nikkei. Um, yep, there we go. So Nifty is uptrending simply because the price is locating above. I mean, sorry, simply because the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen are both moving up. So direction-wise, this is uptrend in a short to midterm, and that's the first thing of information. And secondly, current price is located above these two lines. So this is that means that this is stable uptrend this way. Yeah. All right. By Tesla is unbelievable. All right. Yeah, it's spiking up right now. All right. Let's see. Tenkan Sen is going up and Kijun Sen is going down from horizontal. What's that mean? So Tenkan Sen goes up. That means the uptrend, the direction is up in the short term, and Kijun Sen down means that uh, that that means you know the market is downtrend in the mid term. Simply speaking. Alright, Hendra Sensei, uh, will the new forecast lines created within 26 period of the old one in invalidate the old ones? Um, yeah, you can keep the old ones and always create the new ones, right? To so see if the market breaks through these new forecast lines upwards to uh, to to um, to identify whether the uptrend is stable or not. All right, let's see. I guess I will be going for the next five minutes and I will switch it to the membership live afterwards. Um, let's see. So you get the idea, right? You get the idea of the Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen. Um, you know, um, I, you know I, um, I don't want to talk about the cross signals on Tenkan Kijun Sen. Because um, you know, first of all, that's too simple. I mean, uh, if you if you read the original books in Ichimoku, or if you study deep enough, then uh, you know Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen cross is not really bio sales signals. Um, I mean, these are signals technically, but um, how to say? It's like a, it's like the market change, uh, like market changing point in its direction from the short term to mid term. So, um, for example, like um, like here, you see crosses here in Tenkan Kijun Sen, and um, so, but, but it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that these are buy signal or this is sell signal. And what it means is that the uh, oops, hold on, sorry, I need to manipulate the trading view better. All right, so um, yeah. So Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen is here. So these are cross timings. Oops, uh, sorry, the keeps popping up for some reason. So there's a Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen cross here, the first one, and the second one and the third one. So the first one is a gold cross of Tenkan Kijun Sen, and after that the market looks to be uptrending, but I won't buy. I won't buy here because. Kijun Sen is still moving down, okay? Um, and that's why you cannot buy here. The better chance is that when Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen both moving up, well, especially when Kijun Sen start to move up, uh, you know, it's better to buy. Well, in this case, it became uh, ranging afterwards. 
but uh, when you see here for example when you see here when you see gold cross and also when you see Tenkan Sen, Kyun Sen both moving up after gold cross this is a more reliable signal to buy um, yeah so that's one uh, one of the tips that's important uh, practically speaking so this one too like um, there was a dead cross on Tenkan Kijun Sen here and when they did cross both were moving down so it was a good sell signal but uh, when after they went flat uh, you know I, I don't want to look for buy because um, oops, um, I don't know why, it's, why it keeps, keeps popping up but um, yeah when, when they go flat the price may retrace backwards too the price may retrace backwards, so I would wait until that Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen did cross, both, I mean, sorry, uh, both move, move down, which was happening exactly on this day, or this day of um, 6th of March. I will sell here and the price continue to go down more stably. And that's because the price is not only Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen both moving down after the dead cross, but also the price location is below Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen. So direction wise, it's downtrending both mid to, mid to short term and also the equilibrium is still biased in mid to short term too. So that adds more confirmations to uh, for its market direction after you take positions. So uh, I would say you know um, I would say do not take do not take any like um, you know. Do not, do not take whatever crosses, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen. There are reliable crosses and also there are not reliable crosses. And this is just one of my, one of the examples. You have to look at the Kijun Sen angle and if they are bo both moving up, that will be a great greater chance for, for the market to co continue to go up this way. Yeah, and I think I will talk about the, this topic uh, another time. Alright, so I guess I will be ending the live anytime soon. I hope you enjoyed today's live as well. Alright, and I see many more uh, comments and questions, but sorry, um, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't able to cover all these. But hopefully, you come uh, tomorrow's live. I do the lives every day as I showed it to you uh, in the beginning. So you can always welcome to join and also uh, the playlist. There are playlists here on my website. When you come to my website, there is playlist. So um, yeah, you can always replay my archive. Like here too. Okay, so tomorrow is uh, is uh, hold on twenty eighth of uh, August. August is ending now. Time flies. Time flies. So tomorrow is about my own strategy called K's Trading Strategy KTS, and I will talk about Tokyo Box Breakout Strategy tomorrow by looking at some real chart examples. So hopefully you join tomorrow's live and gain more knowledge in terms of how you take trades, how you exit, and how to make some market analysis. Okay. Oh, can you avoid the BGM? Oh yeah, I, I think uh, I will lower the volume a little bit. <laughs> I think this is still too loud. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, but anyways, thank you for joining everyone. And I hope to see you again. And for those who are members, I will see you on the Ichimoku membership live afterwards. And uh, we're gonna, I will be di uh, more deeply talk about this Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen strategies. So yeah, once again, thank you for joining. And stay healthy, stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.